what up y'all, it's your man, Bobo American, just checking out my background here, what's going on back there, nah, it's okay, but this lighting's kind of funky, my gray hair is showing, I should probably try and use a selfie stick, anyway, whatever, I just wanted to talk about something real quick, I was having a conversation with my daughter, and came to the, you know, the question, was it a question or more of a conclusion, it was more of a conclusion, as opposed to a question, you know, people are actually afraid of freedom. People always talk about freedom and we're free and, you know, people hate us for our freedom and all this stuff. And, you know, people aren't really free. And actually, when you look at them, they fear freedom. And what brings me to this conclusion? Because freedom requires responsibility. And people aren't willing to be responsible for what it takes to be free. If you are a free individual, that means you're responsible for your own safety. That means law enforcement plays a very small role in your your personal safety. That means you have to arm yourself. You have to learn how to protect yourself and your family. And you, you take that responsibility of your safety and security into your own hands. This also includes financial security and safety. Most people feel comfortable and happy with a socialist government that will take care of you if you feel like you don't want to anymore. It's too much consistent responsibility. Food security becomes your responsibility. Either through work or you have to farm. It's just too much work for people to sit and contemplate for a lifetime of that level of responsibility. Just imagine absolute, complete and total freedom. It's basically anarchy. And people fear that. People are afraid of freedom. And generally, when you look at the third world, they're more free than we are in the Western world. It's, it's asinine to say that people hate us for our freedoms out here in the West. Because, okay, look at Earthship. Go, go look up Earthships. This guy, he found a way to make, like, you know, sustainable houses, you know, ecologically sustainable houses, self-sustained. You know, they you get your water from the rain, you get your power from sun and wind. The, the houses are built from old car tires, plastic bottles, whatever else. It's almost free, almost free to build a house. They're just using junk and trash that people throw away to build actual sustainable, ecologically sustainable houses. It has a very low carbon footprint. You know, you can grow your own food inside of it. It's like a great big greenhouse, heats itself, cools itself. It's it's an amazing system. And in the United States, they pulled his architecture license for like years and years trying to break him. And he has to get all sorts of special regulations, this, that, the other, signs, signatures, and whatever stamps to just build these houses in the United States. He goes to the third world and just builds the houses. They're free to do what they want. Of course, there's poverty there too because that freedom is difficult to maintain. When there's no systems in place with governments sucking money out of you to give to other people who are too afraid to take care of themselves. Anyway, it's asinine to say that those people hate us for their freedoms when they have more freedoms than us. We in the West are afraid of true freedom. We like the idea that there's a government to pick up the, the pieces for us, to, to regulate and control behaviors through law enforcement, you know? And this is why people are happy to pay taxes and this, that, the other. Because a guy doesn't want to get up in the morning and have to be responsible for the maintenance of the streets in front of his house. Because that's what freedom would require. You'd have to think on multiple levels all the time. There wouldn't be a break. You wouldn't have time. I wouldn't have time to come here and make YouTube videos. You wouldn't have time to be on Facebook. Because you know what? I'd either go out and work like a dog to make sure my family stays well fed and a roof over their heads, or I'd be out farming, or or I'd be out hiring my services as a dangerous individual, protecting other people who are too afraid to protect themselves or unable to protect themselves. I wouldn't have time for this. That's what freedom requires. It requires long-term, consistent, hard work until you die. And this is why our ancestors probably died at earlier ages than us. Because that level of focus and stress and hard work, it takes its toll on your body and your mind. It can destroy you. But maybe it's worth it. I don't know. But when I look at freedom and how people conceptualize it today, they're full of crap. They're full of crap. They don't want it. If you look at the left, freedom is... 
I don't have to go outside and face any opinions that are counter or, you know, to mine. I don't want to hear it. I need a safe space. Fire him. He said something I don't like. Is that your freedom? Because you'll hear them talking about freedom. On the right, it's the opposite. They want to say and do whatever they want as long as it's against a certain group. And that group isn't allowed in our, you know, our area or whatever else. But that's not freedom. That's a type of dictatorship. It, it, I consider myself closer to the right than the left, but I'm a Muslim and I'm black. I, you know, I really don't fit in on the right. You know, I do have friends on the right. Predominantly, my friends are from the right. But really, when we look at like American right, I don't really fit in as a Muslim. You know, I'm not going to fit in there. I don't have the freedom to be me in that environment that they would control. So nobody truly believes in freedom. That's crap. Anyway, it's just a concept I was thinking about. It's like, you know, when you really look at it and everybody's talking about freedom and this, that, the other, whatever else. And I'm just like, you know, you're all full of crap, man. Every last one of y'all. Because freedom is absolute in that sense. You can be Muslim. You can be black. You can be white. You can be this. You can be that. You can do whatever you want as long as you can maintain it yourself and protect it. And you can stand up for it. Live and let live. And if not, fisticuffs. But people aren't willing to do that, are they? And that means people aren't willing to really do what it takes to be free. They want freedom. They want freedom light. Dang, doorbell. Package. Um, freedom light. People want freedom light. I want to I wanna have my life and my job or whatever else. And I want to, like, you know, take it easy and whatever else. But... At the same time, I don't, I don't want all the work involved with being free, you know? I want to cheer on the troops from afar, you know? I don't want to catch bullets. Anyway, that's not freedom. That's, that's, um, I don't know what it is. It's not freedom. It's a type of complacency. It's a type of cowardice. But it's not, you know, it's not real freedom. And that's why I'm big on, you know, weapons owning, learning how to fight, whatever else. Because you have to be able to protect yourself and your own. At any given moment in time. Women say they want freedom. They want to be equals. But at the same time they want chivalry. And they want some guy to protect them. Women don't want freedom. You don't want freedom women. I'm telling you this. You don't want freedom. You don't want to be out in the world competing with men. You say you do. But if things got ugly again. If hard times return to humanity. You're going to go look for a guy who can protect you. Other than that, otherwise you're going to end up like some sex slave or, 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 or some prisoner or something. Because if hard times return, you can't function in the world. You can't. There are no Xena warrior princesses in the world. And what it requires in a dysfunctional world, what it looks like that we're heading towards, it requires hard work consistently, always. And we are built different, men and women. And if you want to maintain freedom, I know I'm sort of wandering in a sense, you need a man. And this goes for men also. All those weak lefty dudes out there, you, you bum hipsters. If you're not going to be able to be what you are in the sense of, a, of an absolute man and a well-rounded man, you're going to end up being a slave or you're going to end up being a sex slave or whatever they choose, an Enoch, when they cut your privates off. It, it's what you're going to be if you don't have the wherewithal and the strength to stand up for yourself my, my people saw it in America three three hundred something years of slavery under Arabs and white people this is why I'm big on all my kids learning how to fight, shoot, whatever else because it's not going to happen to my people not, not my people in that sense we're going to die as a lineage before we go into that this is an absolute I'd rather genetically be cut off than have my people go back through that. No, it's not going to happen. But it's not going to happen because we're not a people who are weak. Anyway, we're not, you know, when you say you want freedom or you say you're free, really think about what you're talking about. And you're not really free. And this applies to me, too. I'm not throwing you under the bus alone. 
because I like going to the store and shopping whatever else. I don't want to go out back and think, you know what, what grows in this time of the year in Germany when it's coming on winter so that I can have like particular type of food. Where are the deer going to be? What type of birds can I hunt? And then I got to go out before sunrise and then come back after dark, you know, tired, hungry, hurt, in pain or whatever else, maybe unsuccessful in my hunt or my planting, my crops, whatever that I'm trying to store for the winter that's coming that's absolute freedom. I, even I'm complacent in that sense. So, you know, think about this type of stuff when we say it. You know, they hate us for our freedoms. People don't hate us for our freedoms. We're not even really free. So that doesn't make sense. Those people who hate us for our freedoms, they're more free than we are. They hate us because he was he was doing what we were doing. What I'm talking about, he was getting up farming opium or whatever the hell else they're doing out there or farming and someone dropped a bomb on him and his cousin and he, they just completely wrecked his little bit of life that he had left. Now he has nothing to live for. And now he's pissed. Freedom is leaving that cat in the bush over there, you know, where he can't harm anybody but himself and his own people. Which he's probably not interested in. Anyway, it's just a concept that I was thinking about, you know, I was talking about with my daughter, that people... They don't really want to be free. Not only are they not free, but they don't want to be free. Feel free to disagree. Let me know. I don't know. It's just it's just something we were thinking about, we were talking about, and it's just something that kind of popped in my head. I could be wrong. You know, you never know. So someone let me know. Drop it in the comment section. Did you man Abu American? Catch me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that. Abu American, I'm out.